all right guys welcome back to my video so this is a quick video for those of you who are struggling with the tca quadrant from Thrustmaster, and if you are trying to synchronize it with uh, enables airbuses in the new simulator uh, i've been struggling the whole morning i was watching different videos and i couldn't uh, figure it out i nearly gave up but then i found the solution i set it up and it's all working and i'm gonna share this with you so first thing first believe it or not that there is a little fix it has to be done it's very quick thing uh, but in order to make the quadrant work perfectly fine and synchronize uh, specifically with reversers you have to do this step so step number one on the official site there is a link you have a link to steam and also in case if you have a simulator via game pass you have an ms store so if you actually copy this in my case i have a game pass so i'll copy ms store link and i go to my uh, file folders and i just paste it here it'll find this uh let me make it bigger it'll find this throttle data okay so you need to open it and on the very top it says reverse on axis equals true well when you're gonna open it it's going to say false it's gonna say this all right so basically what you have to do you have to change the false and you have to write true then just save it sorry i have it in my language so save it and just close it so that's the step number one you can go back to your simulator I would uh, recommend do it before you start simulator just in case if there's any any issues but I think I tested it while having it open but anyways do it first before you start the simulator so next step in the settings menu you have a controls right and the control is supposed to recognize whatever hardware you have connected to uh, msfs224 in my case i have a throttle quadrant this is the one we are talking about in this video and i also have a 320 side stick so let's go back and select quarter uh, throttle i'm sorry quadrant throttle and notice how it, by default you should see TCA Quadrant Airbus 1 and 2 and also Airplane Controls TCA Quadrant 1 and 2. Guys, even though there's many videos which uh, especially about the honeycomb uh, yoke and uh, throttles and uh, there are some good videos out there those videos suggest to creating duplicates and doing everything from scratch obviously bravo throttle quadrant is much more uh much more functional so you can set it up to your likings but in our case since this is kind of simple hardware we just want to keep it on default do not change it do not mess with it otherwise it's not going to work properly so keep it on default when it comes to this particular hardware okay when uh, you make sure that this is set up on default we can go back to a uh, free flight just select uh, in this case i have uh, 321 already selected just select uh, your airport of choice it doesn't really matter in my case it's going to be dublin and uh, select some gate let's just zoom in i'll quickly select gate over here and let's go into the simulator and we'll get to the step number three which is the final step and then everything should be working so let's give it a couple seconds as usual when it loads by the way this is a third party dublin by mk studios which i tested it all works fine without any issues and you can watch my previous video how to find a community folder and set it up Let's press ready to fly we're going to enter to the cockpit by the way i find this very very annoying because i would like to be already in the cockpit i hope that they will add this option in the future because this is a fiddly all right so we are in the cockpit and we are ahead of the final step to set up our quadrant synchronized with the uh, enabled aircraft 
So what you have to do on the tablet, you don't have to turn the aircraft on, okay? It can be all off. Just on the tablet itself, if you go to options, and on the bottom you will see open throttle settings. So click on it. And then just to make sure, click reset calibration, okay? This message pops in. Okay, so now what I want you to do. Do not pay attention what is happening over here. Okay, on your physical device, on your hardware, on your a TCA quadrant, uh, pull down your levelers all the way to the maximum thrust, so reverse thrust basically. Okay, all the way down to full reverse thrust. Do it on your actual hardware. I'm doing it right now. I have it all the way down in full reverse thrust. Then go to your tablet and click once to set max reverse once okay now on your physical controller again you don't have to really look here on your physical hardware move it slightly to idle reverse on your tca quadrant when you do that click set idle reverse notice how it saved the position over here the next step Obviously, move your actual hardware quadrant to idle, which I just did, and click set idle. Next, move it to next detent, which is climb, on your actual hardware again. I just moved it to climb, and click once, set climb. Next, move it to the next detent, which is uh, flex, on your actual hardware, which I just did and click once, set manual flex. And the last step obviously is move it all the way up to toga on your actual hardware, of course, again, and then click once, set toga. Now, if you go back and look over here and I'll start moving with the actual quadrant just now, I'll put it back to idle. So I did put it back to idle physically and look, we have climb, we have manflex, we have toga, we can go all the way back to idle and we can reverse fully. It all works perfectly fine, guys. And it's all set up now. It actually moves according how I move with my actual TCA quadrant. So this is how you do it. You can close this window by pressing close. And as far as I tested it before, it should remember your selection, it should be saved, so you don't have to mess with it later on again. So now you have your TCA quadrant all functional, as it's supposed to be. And it's reacting exactly to the same positions as you are moving it on your actual hardware. Alright guys, I hope I helped you with this video. Um, let's be all patient with the simulator because it does have many good things. There are so many uh, details which I really like, uh, graphically especially. And I'm just patiently waiting to port Phoenix into the simulator, then fix the traffic of course. And I hope they will give us an option to download the parts of the world which we want to have on the physical disks rather than streaming. That'll be amazing. Uh, all right, wishing you a nice afternoon and see you again next video.